Hi students, good morning to all of you. Welcome to online class. Student, let's come today the under one chapter to make a revision for the upcoming our exam purposes. So here, living and non-living things is the student. Yesterday we have to dis we discussed about natural things and man-made things. Here today is living and non-living things. So one picture is given student. Based on this picture, so many things are there. Which things living and non-living things we can identify and write here in the given box. So here I only write uh, only two living things and two non-living things. Remaining you will you only write. Okay. So living things is. Um, Yes, so many are there. So I write only there. Here, uh, man is there, and uh, so many is the birds is there. Birds, and here non-living things I write. Uh, sand is there, and uh, one more newspaper. So remaining things you only. Right. Next, come here, students. Uh, living things. These are the characteristics of living thing. Who are those? Are called li uh, living things characteristics. First one, living things need food and water. Living things need air to breathe, and living things grow. And here, uh, living things can move from place to place. Living things have feeling, and living things produce their ang one. So these are all the characteristics of living things. Let's come one more time. I repeat: living things need food and water. Living things need air to breathe. Living things grow. Living things can move. Living things have feelings. Living things produce their ang one. And one more is there: living things die. These are the character sticks of living thing. Okay, next come student. I have to solve the exercise part questions. These are the very important for the exam purposes. Complete each sentence by choosing the correct options. All living things need clothes, food and water, a bed to sleep. Which one is this only correct answer? You have to write here. What is food and water? All living things. Grow. This is the correct one. All living things have young one. Young one like themselves. All living things die. Okay. Bees. Butterfly here, where L for the living things and N L for the non-living things. L for living things and N L for non-living things. Bees, butterfly, house, grass, sheep, book, earthworm, water lily, loaf of bread, ant, coconut tree, table, telephone, pencil. So bees is living thing, butterfly is living things, house is non-living things, living things, living things. Uh, non living things living things living things uh, non living things living things living things non living things non living things non living things so based on we have to look their example then write whether it is live living thing or non living thing. and put the right against the correct sentence and wrong against the cross so all living things can move from place to another yes Except here, all living things produce their young one by laying eggs. So wrong. All living things produce their young one by laying eggs. No, some are live produce their young one by like taking the same as their small puppies like babies etc. So this is wrong. All living things grow. Plants do not need air to breathe. So wrong. All living things are feeling correct. Okay, and uh, take the scientifically correct answer. Mr. Desai touched a hot pressure cooker by mistake. What did she do? She did nothing. She felt the heat. She felt the heat and quickly draw the hair and away. This is the correct. 
in this one a potted plant is kept near the window and water regularly what would happen after the week just to just to believe that if suppose you kept a potted plant in the windows in the near to the windows and you put water regularly what happened the plant would die the branches of the plant will grow towards the window the branches of the plant will grow towards the room which one is that this is the correct answer and let's come students uh, one more is the unit two plant life plant type this is the very simple is there i can't uh, ex uh, discussing with this with you this one this is basic knowledge but here is very important student this one what are trees what are trees if there exam in exam this type of question is coming so you have to must and should be write this like tall plants with thick strong woody stems are called tree tall plants with thick and strong woody stems is are called tree tree live for many years tree live for many years and also plants which are the medium height and have narrow but woody stems are called shrubs plant like grass wheat mint and coriander which are small and have soft stems called herbs and uh, plants like the money plant grapevine these are the example which have narrow and weak stem need support to tree or fold climb such are called climbers and pumpkin watermelon plants have narrow and weak stems but these creep on the ground they do not grow up they creep on the ground they bear big heavy fruits so they cannot climb on the support as plants are called creeper so now that we have to plants are classified according to the type of stem they have arranged the following plants under the correct reading here are many examples they are given based on the different types of plants are there shape and size trees are there shrubs is there herbs is there climbers is there creeper is there and you have to identify it and write there in the given box trees which plants are coming shrubs which are plant coming herbs which plants are coming climbers which plants are coming creepers which are have you only identified based on this concept and one more parts of plant this is very important for your exam purposes so you have to like just dislike you have to draw uh, just you look and after this one class you have opened your own notebook without looking these you have to draw and practice and also label their parts of the plant so this is called root this is fruit this is stem flower leaf okay i hope you are understood this one and uh, what is the root function the part of the plant grow under the ground it absorbs the water and minerals from the soil it picks the part of the soil and here come and root having basically two types tap root and fibrous root tap root have one main root with thinner root growing from it this like one main root with thinner root and it grow deep into the soil most tree have tap root this is about the tap root and here fibrous root is there some some plant don't have any main root but they have bunches of small roots this like and examples grass wheat etc have fibrous root even also coconut trees also have fibrous roots okay and uh, why the root is important to the plant you have to write in your own mind why the root is very important because root absorb the water and minerals from the soil and it hold the plant with help of soil that's the reason root is very important okay and the stem is there stem is there and uh, even also some foods are there we are eating from plant that is stems like sugar cane so many are there okay did you know potato onion ginger and garlic are not a roots potato onion ginger and garlic are not a roots they are stems keep in your mind and here the leaf this is the diagram of leaf always leaf having look like a green color because of their because of the chloroplast keep in your mind this is called leaf stalk these are the vein lights these are the leaf blade main this is main vein keep in your mind 
and this is leap margin you have to practice more 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 this is also very important okay i hope you are understood this one and next flower is there you have to read and practice flower is the most beautiful colorful part of the plant okay and in the flower pollination process is going on and fruits store the seeds in them the seeds grow into the new plants some fruits that have only one seeds and some fruits have many seeds and some fruits have no seeds also there okay i hope you are understood this one so next class i will solve the exercise part question about the unit 2 this like this one and this one okay have a nice day bye